It was a little more than a month ago when our next guest told us he was growing more concerned about stocks and had reduced his own exposure considerably. So what does Leon Cooperman think now? Mr. Cooperman is the Omega Family Office Chairman and CEO. He's back with us today in a CNBC exclusive. Lee, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. Nice to be with you, I think. <laughs> uh, I like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I like the backdrop. Uh, look, la last time you were with us, Lee, the S&P was, was close to 4,500. You said that you think fair value seemed to be around 4050. Uh, we're at 4,000 now. So what does that say about your, your perspective on the markets from here? Let me say you've asked previous guests repeatedly to spot the bottom, how we have bottom. Let me give you the best evidence of a bottom uh, when it appears, and it does not appear currently. The best evidence of a bottom is a company comes out with disappointing earnings, the stock opens up down and closes the day unchanged up. We're not seeing that at all, at all. So I would say the stock market has not yet discounted the economic slowdown that we're experiencing, in my opinion. One, unfortunately, I owned uh, Bosch & Loam today. Uh, even though it was down quite dramatically already, it uh, missed the numbers and the stock uh, got cremated again. So I don't see the conditions that would be suggestive of a bottom. I think we can have a short-term bounce at any time. Uh, I don't think coming on now and being negative is blazing any new ground. But I want to go back to what I said to you a month and a half ago. I said to you I felt a little bit like the Pharaoh uh, who had a dream, and this was uh, covered in the Bible, and the Pharaoh's dream was interpreted by Joseph, and the dream was that the seven fat years were followed by seven lean years. Now, my theme has been that we've had the most inappropriate fiscal combination of fiscal monetary policies in our history. Okay, we have pulled demand forward. Unless we're heading to a fiat currency, I think that we're going to have to deal with these problems. Uh, and interest rates are very low, too low relative to inflation, and our fiscal policy is out of control. We basically have had, we had $20 trillion of federal debt in 2017. And four years later, we have $30 trillion of debt. That's a growth rate in debt far in excess of the growth rate of the economy. So I would say we got to pay a price for this pulling demand forward. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm, uh, I have a conservative view. Uh, I, yeah, think, I, I think it, either the, it, Fed or, the Fed or oil prices will ultimately push us into a recession. I do not expect a recession this year. So therefore, I don't think the market's going to get cremated from here. But I think the ultimate low is lower next year. I think if I had to call a shot, I'd say I think 4,800, the high for the year is in. Uh, I would avoid bonds. Um, and I would buy only selectively. And I would buy within my power space. I'm a low multiple uh, asset value oriented investor. I do own uh, some of the technology stocks. There's nothing expensive if interest rates remain at these levels. The point I've been making for three or four years, if interest rates belong at these rates, then basically the returns in the stock market will be very modest. You know, there's a capital market line. Your return in fixed income has bearing for your return in equities.